welcome back to Look Inside My Garden. I'm Sophie and today we're going to be talking about how I add wire to my fencing to support my plants. It's something that I get asked all the time on Instagram because my clematis, I mean it does look quite amazing on a fence um, and I think people wonder how on earth I do it but it is so easy. It's a really cheap way of not only supporting clematis but also it's great to have the support there on your fence for when your perennials get tall or even any annuals that you're growing. It's great to be able to tie them to your fence securely and then you haven't got to worry about having loads of stakes in the borders. So I literally use this for everything. It's really simple. All we've done, I say we, this is a famous we, I haven't done it, Ben did it, um, he's added in for me some screws down my fence post and then he's also added screws like halfway down the fence panel where that supporting bit of wood is. So we've got screws all the way along the fencing and then I just ordered off of Amazon some galvanised wire and I literally just loop it around and go along to the next screw and then loop it. So I've got it going all the way along the fencing and I've got it one, two, three, four, four rows deep. Um, so that as my perennials grow, the, when they're sort of at this height, I can tie them in and then tie them in and then tie them in. And it works with like my dahlias. I just tie them to the fence. Um, Verbena bonariensis, I like them to be really upright. So it just works so well, not only for your climbers, but for anything tall in your borders. Let's take a closer look. So as you can see, this is my whopper of a clematis, uh, which without the wire would just be a big floppy mess everywhere. Now, if we carefully walk towards the fence panel, you will see, you can actually see where it's starting to rust. But I've quite simply just put I say I've just put, we all know that I haven't put them there. Ben put the screws there, but there are screws all the way down. And then there are also screws down the middle of the fence panel. And then I've literally just looped it around and pulled it tight to the next fence panel. And then all the way along. I used to have a clematis there actually, but there isn't now, but I can still see the screws are there. You can paint the screws the colour of your fence to blend in and actually once the wire kind of weathers and ages a little bit um, you just don't notice it at all and actually look when you look close up at this clematis look at all of that new lovely new growth which means it's time for me to tie it all in again soon that little bit's falling down but yeah it really is as easy as that um, and having it there is amazing because this for example is a dahlia which needs a lot of support so rather than having any fancy staking there I just tie it to the wire so it's really really strong um, any tall perennials I just attach at the back so this is a big thalictrum which as you can see is really tall and then actually you can even see an old bit of string there. So I just tie any tall perennials to the fence. Um, and I've got it all the way along, all around where that rose is as well. It's a really cheap, effective way of basically covering your fences. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you are notified of when my next videos are live. See you again soon.